Welcome back to Just Wing It's Car Reviews. Today I am reviewing the 2016 Dodge Viper ACR. Please be advised that this is a maxed out upgraded model. Probably what Hennessy would do. The standard engine is the 8.4 litre V10. However, this modded version has a 888 kilowatt turbo V12. I am unsure what capacity it actually is. Right now, this car is set for maximum downforce, meaning we will get maximum efficiency in cornering, but top speed will be greatly reduced. This car is certainly one of the best cornering cars in Forza Horizon 4. Its brakes are second to none and its acceleration is like a go-kart attached to SpaceX's Starship. In a previous video I had reviewed its predecessor and noted that the predecessor has a higher top speed, over 400 km an hour. I have never been able to mark this model to reach that speed. I have been experiencing some lag today, so controlling this car has been a bit of a challenge. I must admit I often underestimate this car's cornering. Alright, let's have a closer look at this car's stats. As you can see, everything except for top speed is a perfect 10. Ok, over there it says it is a 6 litre displacement. Now I know. Let's have a close look at the exterior. So this is my Nightwolf theme. I loosely based it on the Airwolf, Night Rider and Viper TV series. I think it looks pretty good. I think the Viper is one of the most beautiful cars. There are so many hidden functional qualities in the bodywork that many people are not actually aware of, combining maths, old and new technology. Ironically, I actually do like the fact that it looks like the first generation Vipers. Obviously tweaked and modernized. I always thought that the Viper concept had enormous potential that was never really utilized. But the number of track records this Viper generation has is impressive. 
It very much is an underappreciated car. Let's take it to the highway. Okay, that was my bad. I overcompensated. With the current setup it is a bit difficult to drift. Keep an eye on the Nord 200. The pull away is extremely fast and stable. The only issue I've had is that sometimes the front wheels do actually lift off the ground then I have no way of actually turning the car. I remember the second generation GTSR at a top speed of 349 kilometers an hour. This car is surprisingly stable, especially considering the reputation Vipers had. That negative g-force must hurt like hell. And this is what I was talking about where the front tires lift off the ground. First gear 136 kilometers an hour. The reason why I have it so high is so that I reduce the amount of spinning. As you could tell, it hardly made any difference. The corner coming up is always a very good test for cornering. The car didn't even notice it. I do wish that Forza Horizon 4 had actually utilized the Viper engine a bit better. Pretty much like the Hennessy brothers did. I'm thinking it would have given the Viper far too much potential. Alright, let's minimize the downforce.
364km an hour. It is a bit slow, but not that bad. Handling is still fantastic. I think my stomach just came out my mouth. I always wondered if you get whiplash driving cars like this. I love the interior of this car. Beeping, beep, 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 Sunday driver. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click on notifications, and share this video. Until next time.